this is the number of rotations you have left. The higher your intellect, the more moves you have. Mm. Okay. Just a few moves left. Okay, so this is the hookup, like, but okay. There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago. Apocalypse. But it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxinor Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste, and without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They oh, okay. Began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right. But no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. Oh, damn. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again. Yeah, don't mess with nature. It became ours. Definitely never mess with nature. Nature always wins. Oh, the sound of spar metal going pew pew is never a good thing. It's coming from behind that door. A Pull the switch. Label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. I mean, that sounds like fun. I don't know about you. It's going to take a bit of puzzling to short circuit the door. Okay. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Boop. There you go. Oh, really difficult. It's got to connect the right colors. Oh. Hi. Airstrike. Perfectly countering an enemy attack will stun them. A stunned enemy has stars sucking above their heads. After hitting them, uh, you can launch up, uh, uh, launch them up in the air. Okay. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. All right, man. Leave him alone! Eat science! That's the last of them. Let's talk Boom. to the real one before backup arrives. Uh, can I get loot first? That's a good find. Give me the loot! Uh, no, can't go that way. Bugger. All right, old timer. Give me all your stuff. He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. Oh. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. He presents himself as out of date. He knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then. The night everything changed. 
There have been rumors of a one-eyed Ronin seen outside the Great Wall, and he's happy to see it's true. Freaking job of the heart sounding the fella. The of a one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark, a facial scar. A lightning bolt. You are a wizard, Harry. It's a scar you're covering under that eye patch, isn't it? But he would have recognized you anyways. You look exactly like your Muma. There's no doubt you're the child, and that what Lupa Lupin did to your village, Lupa Lupin. Muma and Popsy, was the beginning of the end. He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present to find your way back. But he's grateful you have. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Muma's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. Uh, unity? Question mark? After the old village was destroyed and you disappeared, a struggle between the families erupted, and over time, the disciples turned against each other. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. Okay. By default, uh, dialogues are now set to advance from one uh, NPC line to next automatically. If you want to manually, no, 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 we're good. Oh, oh my God, is this baby me? Mama, is that you? I'm just a wee little baby. Oh my God, look at that hair. Asks if you were tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He wonders if your Muma knows you are here. Uh, I told. I hope I told her. You're such a good child, so you probably did. Even the young forget. Is he singing he it? Understands why you came all the way out here to see them, the potato people. Potato? The potato people, or Nono, are a wonder somehow interlinked with this little tree here fueling its source of life. Ah. Uh, I don't believe in magic. Magic? He claims it's just the force of life, the existence of energy, powering and connecting all things living, like the Nono. The Nono prefer to hide in glitter grass. He says you should get over there and ruffle it. See if you can <clears> make <throat> one come out of hiding. Okay. Hello. Come be at the mirror.com, come be at the Nike.com. Simples. That's what my character reminds me of, if anybody knows those commercials. <clears throat> oh my. Oh, 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 lord. <clears throat> Hello, anybody here? Um, how do I ruffle this? Um, we're gonna run through the grass like I. Don't ask how, how else you want me to ruffle this game. I can't. Oh, right click. 
You should be proud. They don't come out for everyone. The Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete its cycle and grow into a tree of life. Hmm. Would it grow strong enough? Only time will tell. At least his intention is to dedicate his life to it. He has the feeling the fate of the world depends on it. Not dramatic at all, are we? You will need to support the tree for a long time to come. The only way it'll grow tall is with the burst of key released from the Nono as they become one with the tree. We're gonna murder this thing. Oh. You'll need a net to catch the Nono, and he wants you to use his, but asks you to be gentle. The Nono are sensitive beings, an embodiment of key, the primal energy. Okay. Hoop net received. Wait, come here, little fucker. You handle that net like you've never done anything else. He's impressed. Jesus. He's grateful for all the help he can get. There's lots of Nono out there that need to be guided to the roots of the Pensai tree. When do I need? Oh, it'll need a continuous flux of key over the 20, 12 months to come. So, countless, he'd say. 20 years. One day, he hopes the tree will have grown tall enough to sustain the world. But today, your focus is getting this one to become one with the tree. Okay. Inoculated Pensai. Find it interesting how they call them 12 months instead of a year. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, we all knew the elves actually didn't die. He just became a giant otter looking fella. Mm -mm -mm. Booty 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 rocking everywhere. Hey. Yeah, I can see that exactly. Oh. <laughs> Let's sacrifice his magical being for the betterment of worlds. Oh, oh my, oh, Jesus, okay. That was very instantaneous. Now that you've seen the Nono's connection with the tree with your own eyes, you have no reason to doubt. From this day on, he'll make nurturing the Pensai into a tree of life, a life goal, not only for our village's sake, but for all of us, everyone. Okay. One day, the land won't be as peaceful. Not even your Moomer will be able to protect us. A Moomer sounds like a badass. You can already see the effects from how reckless those before us acted, and unless something changes, we're doomed. The land won't survive the side effects of the old world's industrial advances. He says you'd better hurry back to the village before your Moomer comes looking for you. You did good here today. He only cares about Wong Fu, apparently. That's not true. She's the reason there's still unity, and the only one strong enough to keep the six Wong Fu disciples disciplined. Six disciples? Okay. Thanks for the flashback, old timer. You there for a while, but no memory is alone. It's part of a trail you can follow. He says he remembers every single day he devoted to growing the tree of life. Okay. But now he's afraid it might be in vain. The tree started to die when the end of days begun. And it wasn't long after that that the world eaters arrived. Uh, world eaters? Question mark. 
The genetic evolution that occurred after the apocalypse that Toxinor Corporation inflicted on the land set the World Eater's DNA into overdrive. Uh... His friend Gizmo is working on a Mekton and needs help defeating the Jumbo Pup at the end of the West Route. Wiz is still repairing his Octopod to confront the Merc Puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the Northwest Route. Noko has tamed the Midget and is preparing to take on the Hoof Puff at the end of the East Route. Okay. Finally, Goop is almost done with the Goo Glide, a machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to what the What are these names? Out of date, says his friends are gearing up to stop the World Eaters. There's one at the end of each route. <laughs> The road ahead won't be easy, but he's counting on your support. His friends aren't strong enough to end this on their own. Okay. He wants you to understand that you'll all die if the tree isn't saved. Yeah, those are. Yeah, I. I... But yeah, how do I def defeat all these world eaters? His friends have prepared something specific for each World Eater. The Mekton, the Octopod, the Majute, and the Googlide are almost ready to ride. Cool. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the Tribe War and the situation with the World Eaters. Tribe War? Oh! The net! Aha! Thanks, old timer. Do you have anything else I can take? Fate of the world. Not, not dramatic at all. Alright, later, nerd. You're getting the hang of it. Oh. The quickest way out is through the roof where they came in. And the rope looks strong enough to climb. Okay. Hang on, if I was loot... No! I would definitely be up there if I was loot, I'm just saying. Okay, never mind. That, that seemed like a fluke. Hello? Ooh, sky. Know that the tree of life is dying. Its days are numbered. Without help, it can't endure the environmental change and assault from the world eaters. Bio mutant. We're on with the story, I'm guessing? The adventure begins. What's this? A signpost maps it out for the cartographically challenged. Okay. You call me dumb game? But you're right. Did you just... Let's see. Did I just pee on it? Did I just pee on the signpost? Mm, you can fast travel to signposts. Okay. Yeah, I definitely just peed on it. I sure, why not? Oh, 
Oh, hi. Uh, um, you're a thick boy. That must be the world eater that chewed off out of date's leg. You'll need a hat trick to bring that down. The world eaters have made their marks Ooh. in our world. <laughs> oh. See this? Oh, uh, look, I'm, I'm all wet now. Oh, wait, what? What? Hey, when I was in here before, my ears would... What? I'm confused. There you go. Now I'm all droopy again. <laughs> That's not the first nor the last village it'll leave in its wake. Anybody home? Oh, look, somebody's there. A survivor. Glad to see someone made it out alive. Oh, you got fucked up. He's heard the stories about the terror inflicted by the world eaters to other enclaves, but never expected one to come all the way here. Aura, your inner balance is two halves that uh, completes a whole um, wholeness that flows through all things. At times, you'll be able to manifest your inner balance through deeds and dialogue choices. A few of those always act in the same manner, and the wholesomeness is the sum of those choices we make and the actions we take. The balance of your actions creates an aura score which uh, affects dialogue, okay? He worries there won't be much left to save if this continues, even if the Tree of Life survives the attack. He doesn't know what your connection is to this place, but something tells him you've stayed true to your heart. Side points is acting with captors and uh, side strings will award you with side points. Okay. Powers can only uh, can only be unlocked once you have reached the right dark or light in a balance. Anyway, he needs help and says it's by your actions you'll be judged, not by your intentions. Mmm, I mean, I'll, I'll give you a hand. He's grateful for that. You still seem to have a spark of light in you. Too much already. That's right. Smack that spark out before it starts. <laughs> you don't have to be so harsh. It's such a little spark. I'll take it out now while it's small. <laughs> There's always another spark. It's smacked in the mouth. Need some side points. Use this. Uh... Okay, I'll unlock mutations. Cool. There's out of date again. He must have missed something important. How did he get out of the hole? Out of date knows you'll make a better stand against the world eaters with the support of a tribe. And there's two nearby. The Jadni tribe is likely to be your primary choice as they seek to become omnipresent and most importantly, feared. Regardless of who you choose, it won't be easy, as the conflict between the tribes is worse than ever, teetering okay. on the brink of war. The Myriad's conviction to stop the World Eaters began when the Leviathans rose from the depths of the surf. Siding with the Myriad's movement for wholeness in a fragmented world might seem like the logical thing to do, but is it the right thing? One thing's certain, though. Destiny arrives all the same. Mm. The Jagni tribe only ever had one conviction, 
to bring balance to the world by wiping out the weak. They believe oh. cleansing is necessary to restore the world and want to let the world eaters bring down the tree of life. But siding with Chagney isn't necessarily a bad thing. Fate will find a way. Okay. Out of date says someone needs to break the stalemate and shift the balance of power to either Jagni's or Myriad's side. He believes the tribe Sifus, Jagni especially, will listen to you and expects you to pay at least one of them a visit and play your part. Hmm, why the Jagni? He believes you share Jagni's view on the world. Regardless, Jagni would welcome someone that had helped them against the Myriad tribes. My yards, He'll be waiting for you beneath the tree of life if you lose track of what you need to do. I still don't know how you go out of the hole. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eaters. Hmm. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm actually gonna go with Jagni. Yeah, sure. Why not? Another fork in the road. It's either the tunnel or the motor bridge. What'll it be? Hmm. So it's a bridge. Yeah, it's still somewhat dark. Character. There you go. Side points. Link might be handy. Will that hurt me though? Ooh, being able to overtake that would probably be handy. Nice spark. Go blink. Yeah, yeah. Have that alt since that's kind of a dodge move, you know? Oh, I can use this to upgrade resistances. That's interesting. Okay, I'm still holding on to those for now. Kind of protection you take it. Unlock uh, dual wield. Okay. I don't know if this is equipped or not. Okay, it, it definitely is equipped. Cool. Inventory. Any loot or secrets or any of that I need to have a little look at first? We found that little stash behind the waterfall. It's a bridge. Just get over it. <laughs> Jesus Christ, no. Don't. Don't even. No there. I got no range weapon equipped. Fuck. Oh, 
Jackie looks sick. Wow. What? 